example, and that is going to be the do while loop. All right, here, the results look the same, but let's look at the code. Here, it starts similarly. We declare our variable c equals zero for the counter, and then we have the statement do. So that introduces and identifies this as a do loop. Then it runs through the document rights statements, and then the counter, C++, is seen, and then the while statement happens, that as long as C is less than or equal to 5, then run the loop again. So here's where we see that this part of the code is going to be run no matter what the counter is and no matter how many times we've set the counter to run. All right, so that's the big difference, remember, between a while loop and a do while, is where that loop definition occurs. If it is, if you want the middle part of your loop statement to run at least once, you use a do while. If you want it to be open and variable, then you just use a plain while loop.